My name is Sister Kobeshni Rousseau, and I am a nurse. A blood sample like this contains many different types of cells. Most of the cells in this blood are the red blood cells. These cells help to supply oxygen from the lungs to your body. The blood in this sample also has platelets that help your blood to clot when you cut or injure yourself. Finally, there are white blood cells that are part of your immune system and they play a very important role in protecting your body from many different types of infections. When you donate blood, all of these cells are collected and given to the person who needs the blood. In this video, I am going to describe to you a blood donation procedure that is used to collect only the white blood cells. This procedure is called leukophoresis. What is leukophoresis? Leukophoresis is a procedure that involves collecting blood from a blood donor and passing that blood through a machine that is able to separate the white blood cells from the other components of the blood. The white cells are collected in a special collection bag while the rest of the blood is returned back into the body. The process is repeated continuously for about 90 minutes until we have collected enough white blood cells for the study. It's very important to mention that we don't do anything that it could affect your blood or harm you during collection and your body will make the new white blood cells quickly after the procedure. During the collection of the sample, we do add some medicine to the blood to prevent it from clotting while it runs through the machine. When the sample collection is over, we remove the tubes from the machines and discard them. A new set of tubing, needles and sample collection bag is used for each donor to ensure that there is no risk of contamination with blood from the other donors. The procedure of separating white blood cells is generally safe and is used in the treatment of certain diseases such as leukemias or for collecting cells for research purposes. Why do we conduct leukophoresis in HIV vaccine research? A vaccine helps train your body's immune system to fight against a certain disease. There is currently no licensed vaccine against HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. Scientists all over the world are working tirelessly to develop a vaccine against HIV. A vaccine against HIV is expected to stimulate the white blood cells in the body to fight HIV. By using leukophoresis, scientists can collect enough white blood cells to study the effects of the vaccine on the immune system. And because not all white blood cells are the same, scientists are able to collect even the rare types of white cells that are thought to be important in fighting HIV. Using leukophoresis also allows the scientists to collect a smaller volume of blood since most of the blood that flows through the machine is returned to the donor. A small 50 ml sample containing concentrated white blood cells like this contains the same number of white blood cells that you would find in 2 litres of blood. This allows the donor to provide samples more frequently without affecting their red blood cell levels. The white cells that are collected during this procedure are quickly replaced by your body without causing any harm to you. We hope that this video has helped you understand leukophoresis. If you have any questions or concerns, please speak to staff at this clinic. Thank you very much for your time.